you know how many British, white, chubby singer-songwriters they are with a raspy voice? It's ridiculous. I can't take any more. <laughs> How I'm feeling now, we'll get to that in just a sec, but mm. how are you feeling now? I feel like a million Canadian dollars. <laughs> okay, our currency isn't doing that well, but is it not? It's still, that's still okay. a lot what of money. What is it to the American <laughs> dollar? <laughs> it's not doing that great. Oh, great, okay. Well, <laughs> But it's still a lot of money, Listen, and I love hearing that from you. And this economy? Yes. What can we do? I feel, okay, I'll change it. I feel like a hundred million American dollars. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I love that. Your album is, of course, going to be coming out soon. <coughs> How excited are you for people to hear this? Honestly, I, if I was people, I would not waste my time listening to it. <laughs> it is the biggest pile of... Dog. Can you swear on this? No, I won't swear. I'm excited. It's going to be good. Yeah. I hope people like it. More importantly, I hope people buy it. Buy it. Yeah, just buy the thing. Doesn't matter if you like it or not. Buy it for someone you hate. <laughs> I loved your reaction to seeing someone doing the cover for one of on TikTok for one of your songs, and yeah, you're like, furious. I'm just gonna, I just give up. I'm gonna walk away now from this. Yeah. How exciting is it to see, you know, just general singers in public taking a song of yours and then doing it as well? People are singing it too well, and I'm sick of it. Sorry to point at you, I'm channeling a lot of anger your way. I have way. not covered any of your songs oh, thank yet. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I don't that. think I will anymore. Don't bother. I if you're out try. there and you think, oh, I'm a budding singer song, right? I want to cover Lewis's songs. Don't dare. I'm sick of seeing you young whippersnappers coming up and you're all like, oh, you're all wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. There's not enough room in this industry. I'm sick of it. Do you know how many British, white, chubby singer-songwriters they are with a raspy voice? It's ridiculous. I can't take any more. <laughs> Sorry. That was like a PSA. I yes. really liked As, it. Honestly, what people need to know is there's not enough of this music pie to go around. <laughs> and I'm a hungry boy. <laughs> I'm getting the scraps as it is. Thanks very much, Drake. <laughs> No, yeah, that's um, nice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> all in all, don't do it, but it's really nice. <laughs> yes. Um, wish you the best, written mm -hmm. by also with our Canadian boy, JP Sachs. Yes. Um, I'm sure every single song in your album to you is special, but you have said that this <coughs> one is a little bit more special. Yeah. Why so? I say that about all of them. You say that about yeah. I haven't seen you say that about <laughs> all of them, though. You have said it. But I think it's the best song like, as in, if you're talking like catchy little ditties, yeah. like for the radio and stuff, yeah. I think it's the best song. Okay. If it hadn't been for the fact that I released two really depressing ballads at the end of the last album, mm -hmm. this probably would have been my choice as the first yeah. song to release. It means a lot to me. It's really, I went to LA for like an extended period of time at the end of 2021, and it was not the most fruitful experience creatively. Yeah. And this is one of the songs that we did manage to get you know, something out of. JP, Mr. Sax, Mr. Sax, Mr. Mr. Ball Sax. <laughs> um, that's, that's awful. Um, so he probably got that in school for years. I'm sure he'll laugh at that. Yeah. Um, no, he's great and I <laughs> he's love- He's a Canadian, we don't get mad. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He's, no, but he's the best. And it was the first time I wrote with him, first time I met him. And he's just like, absolutely incredible. So, that is um, amazing. Yeah, I think next time round, I'd love, if, if he's not, upset by me calling him Mr. Ballsacks, <laughs> I'd love to write with him again, because he's just, yeah, he's incredible. And Malay as well, who we did it yeah. with, is brilliant. But. I love that. And you talked about your ballads. You know, <coughs> this is one of the things I personally love about your music too, mm. and I, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but the fact that they are so raw, it's like mm. you're literally taking your heart and you're like <coughs> putting it out there. Yeah. I feel like you also really did that with your documentary. Yeah. We saw such a beautiful, honest, raw, vulnerable side of you. Mm -hmm. How important was it to you to be so vulnerable and how do you feel now? That it was odd. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't rush to make another documentary. When it was pitched to us when I met the director, I was supposed to be going on tour, having this amazing life and like yeah. playing in thousands of people and you know, living a sort of soft rock and roll lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, what actually happened was COVID hit and then they ended up living with me. And it was an awful experience. Yeah. I don't know if, um, I mean, you're on camera a lot, but when they are in your house 24-7, yeah. eating your food, <laughs> drinking your drinks, mm. yeah, it's pretty tough. And it was a weird thing to watch back. It's quite depressing. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed. It's mm -hmm. quite a sad film. Nice, but sad. Yeah. I watched the first draft of it. 
And I was like, do I die at the end of this? That's how sad it was. But it was so relatable because yes. so many people do deal with that. Yeah, and people, no, no, no. And you know? Yeah, I get, that's been nice. People have been coming to me and being yeah. like, oh, I really resonate with it. And I guess I that's the that. most important thing. Hey, you've got the support also of some amazing icons. Yeah. Ed Sheeran, mm -hmm. Elton John. What does it mean to you to have so much support from these icons as well? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's nice to have sort of friends in high places. I don't have many friends that are singers <clears throat> and big, like, who have had success um, and stuff like that. I mean, I've got a lot of friends who are singers who haven't had success, got tons of them. But um, in terms of, like, people who have been through it all and seen it all, etc., it's really nice to have someone to, like, go to and ask questions yeah. and sort of Someone inquire. Someone who's been through it all. I want to have a, just a tiny bit more fun with you. So okay. I'm going to throw some really fun, random little questions at you. Great. What did you have for breakfast this morning? I had the eggs. How? Easy what over? What do you mean? How? Oh. Scrambled? What's easy over? Uh, scrambled. Scrambled. Okay. Yeah. What's the last celebrity you texted? Elton John? I FaceTimed Niall Horan this morning. He FaceTimed me. What? This morning. And I had a text from Chris Martin of Coldplay. Oh that gosh. I haven't responded to, so... That was a mic drop moment. So you said Niall Horan, so I'm going to guess this one already is going to go to One Direction, but One Direction or the Jonas Brothers? Oh, that's a toughie, because I love the Joe Bros. I know. But I love the D Bros as well. <laughs> I love them D Bros. Yes, I'd probably say One Direction, yeah. but it's neck and neck. When is your bedtime? I'm curious. <laughs> My bedtime? Yes. Yeah. When the last bottle of Jack Daniels is finished. Yeah. Am I right? And the last lady has been kissed. <laughs> What's on your keychain? Keychain, like like a key. Keys, like you know, oh, keys. I've got like a you poo emoji. <laughs> what was your last impulse purchase? Last impulse purchase. I bought this jumper from the Ace Hotel in Toronto. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a really good commercial. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is great. This is great. I was this... just showing the back of the jumper there. You are just. Such a joy. Thank congratulations you. on no. your new album. Congratulations Obsessed with to it. you. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. We actually won an Academy, our show, last night. Oh, congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Big and congratulations to you, everybody. Thank you for Thank having you. me. Like the video? Then hit the button. Or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.